So, there, so we're supposed to have a press conference right now. Is that what we're doing? We are doing it. Yep. Okay. Um, All righty. Um, I'll start out with it's almost Thanksgiving. We haven't played a hockey game yet. Um, we haven't played a hockey game since last March. This is a third, I, I think the third time that I've actually combed my hair since last March. I've been a hat guy, so like I, I got up early this morning, took a shower, put a little gel in, hair's getting a little thin. I might have to be going Dave Toller look here pretty soon. But uh, we've been staying on top of things. Joe and Andy, our staff, have been doing a fabulous job with our guys. Been telling our guys uh, constantly to stay positive, to stay positive. But then I started to think about it like, why, why should staying positive? Is that a good thing? Because in this day and age, being negative is better than being positive. Like when you're testing, when you're testing, why, like why is a positive test bad and a negative test good? Does that make sense to you, Toll? In all your infinite wisdom, as our sports information director, I, I, it confuses me, and uh, the English language confuses me and I've been pondering on a lot of things lately you know little things like you know when you transport something by car they call it a shipment but when you transport it by ship they call it cargo I mean that yet confuses me the positive negative thing you know why do you drive on a parkway why do you park on a driveway like these things just don't make sense so what am I supposed to be saying to my guys to stay positive or to stay negative because if they're positive, if they pop positive, we're going to get a contact trace and none of us are going to go anywhere for a long time. This is all just really, really confusing to me. And I'm trying to piece it all together. You know, hopefully um, you or the listening audience can help me uh, piece this thing together. But anyway, whether it's positive or negative, um, we are hoping that we're going to get on an airplane and we're going to uh, fly out, not drive, fly out to the East Coast, get out and, uh, and uh, get, get a couple games in with uh, American International. Um, I'm confident, I'm confident, but I'm not sure. I won't be sure until that puck drops at the Mass Mutual Center. But uh, that's the plan right now. Um, I'm going to quit pondering. Uh, I'm going to quit... Uh, being confused and asking questions, but if somebody has a, a, uh, a, a good answer for, for those uh, questions for me, I would like to get those at the end because I'm probably going to sleep a lot better tonight. Just keep me awake at night, those types of things. But, uh, uh, okay, where are we at? Where are we going with this now? Are, are, we haven't done one of these for a long time, have we? No. 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 Uh, Kate, uh, I know you're on there. Uh, how many people do we actually have on here? Do we have a lot? We have one person on here? Okay. So, Kate, why can't we have a, okay, now this is another thing. You know, Kate is here. Why don't we have a picture of Kate like they have in the stands? They have pictures of people at the football stadiums, you know, and all that. Why can't I have a picture of Kate right here so I can talk to Kate's picture? She's right here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, Kate, even though you were late, Kate, let's get this thing going. All right? Oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, I'm just going to slide right past that one. Um, I'm afraid to use the word positives now, but I'm going to anyway. Um, in talking to a couple of the players, we were discussing how, you know, usually it, everybody kind of focuses on maybe some of the some of the hardships that come with being at the academy and being a Division One hockey player. But in some ways, uh, heading into the season opener, uh, things may have been even a little bit better for them this year crazy enough. Uh, they've had more time in the gym where to put back on the freshmen to put back on the weight that they lost in basic. Um, they've had ice time where other people may not have been able to. Uh, can you talk a bit about how maybe actually this is a pretty good moment to be an Air Force Falcon? Well, I think, first of all, it's great to hear that because they're drinking our Kool-Aid then uh, because uh, the uh, Th there has been some advantages. You mentioned a few of them. There's been a lot of disadvantages. Um, it's been a, a horrible year for collegiate sports in general, just with the, all the uncertainties and that type of thing. We've also, you know, uh, in defense of our guys, I mean, what an attitude they have. I mean, it's, it's inspiring. Um, our coaches do a great job, but the boys come every day, and, and they're, they're busting their butts, and they do everything we ask, and it's just the energy, uh, it's, it's just fun to be around. It's just, uh, it's inspiring. Uh, but the facts are, we've had freshmen here since uh, late June, 
Uh, they never got to see their parents. They never had a parents weekend. They never got to see their parents. Uh, they haven't had any uh, vacation or off time. They're going to miss Thanksgiving. Uh, they've gone we've they've gone many of them have had to go into quarantines we have one freshman that's never positive never tested positive once not once he tested positive but through contact tracing he has spent 47 days 47 days in quarantine and so these guys uh these kids are fantastic and and uh they, they they've got a, a glasses half full attitude but but it, it hasn't been a lot of fun it's been trying i guess for the freshmen if you don't know anything else uh you don't know what you don't know uh, but uh they have battled through it and it's great to see that they that they have a we're going to say a positive attitude kate i'm looking at you in the speaker right here and i'm supposed to be looking right here but uh, um I'm, I'm glad that they have a positive attitude because uh, they certainly could uh, be taking this uh, in another direction. Not to mention all the things I've said, um, uh, how much they're having to do uh, classes online. And uh, taking classes online is not uh, like being there in person and being in front of the professor and, and being a, able to raise their hand. And now we have things here. They can get EI uh, uh, over Microsoft Teams and that type of thing. Uh, EI is, uh, is tutoring and that type of thing. But, but uh, yeah, no. There's been uh, there's been more difficulties and there's been more hardships than positives, but uh, our guys uh, have stayed positive and uh, hopefully they stay negative as well. And uh, we get on that plane, we get out to AIC, and we finally get to do what we all love to do, and uh, that's do hockey. Have you seen all those days in quarantine? Have you seen an, an effect? On, I know they're they're staying positive, but have you seen any effect of that kind of? That, that kind of grind. Uh, yeah, I, to be honest with you, I, I, I am. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a professional, so whatever I say, I'm going to get, that's my disclaimer right now. But to be honest with you, uh, what I've seen from physically, uh, the kids that have gotten uh, uh, the virus and that type of thing, to be honest with you, my concerns, uh, I, I, have, I have bigger concerns, uh, uh, you know, mentally, uh, with uh, with them than than I do physically. These kids are, are like I said, are being tested in a lot of different ways. Uh, they've been cooped up, locked up, and this isn't just the academy. This is nationwide. And uh, taking these classes online, uh, it's affected their breaks. Right now, it might affect our Christmas break. I think it's vital that our kids get out of here for Christmas break. They're able to decompress. They're able to spend some time with their families. And and due to the uh, the COVID protocols that we here have here at the academy. Um, I'm not sure if they will be able to get out of here, and if they do get out of here, you know, for 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 how many days? It's uh, it's really been a, a frustrating thing to deal with. It. I know it hasn't been fun for the administration. It hasn't been fun for the doctors. They they all we we all have our challenges with this. Uh, but uh, I I do think in, in some in many ways I I worry more about our kids uh, uh, mentally and psychologically than I do about them physically. Strange pivot, but uh, I've heard quite a bit about Willie Rhymes' progression over the summer. Uh, have you seen anything out of him? Uh, Willie Rhyme, good question, and uh, a good guy to pick on. Willie Rhyme has really made a taken a gigantic step. Um, he has become. Uh, he will be. Uh, uh, he's going to be one of the best. He will be when it's all said and done, one of the best power forwards that we've ever had here. And um, he's he looks the part. He looks the part right now. He's big. He's strong. He's aggressive. Um, he's got great offensive instincts. He shoots it. He goes to the net. Like Willie can play it any way you want to play it. You want to you want to uh, wanna play it it's soft and skillful. He can play it soft and skillful. And and if you want to get in and you want to mix it up, you want to play hard. You want to get into. You want to get rugged. You want to get physical in front of the net. Uh, um, you know, uh, he's not he's not going to he's not going to run away from the dance. He's not going to take a backward step to anybody. No, he's a good player, uh, a, a great kid, and uh, he's go he's going to be huh, when it's all said and done, he's going to be a great Falcon. And um, how about uh, one of your leading uh, returning scorers, Brandon Cook? Uh, Brandon Cook is uh, another guy that's. Uh, the game of hockey comes very easy to Brandon Cook. So, like some guys, I think, just process the game. They just, uh, it's like things happen in slow motion for them. And Brandon has just got such a 
such a low panic point. He's always calm. He's always under control. He recognizes situations. It's amazing how fast he processes the things and how fast he processes the games and finds people and sees openings and see, sees holes. Um, he's another one that uh, uh, he is uh, – He's on, on pace. Obviously, he was an all-conference player last year. He was the runner-up in the voting for uh, Rookie of the Year in the league. And uh, he, uh, uh, he was an all-conference player. And, and he's, he's, on, he's on pace to be uh, another uh, he'll, one of our future greats. He's, like I said, he's a very skillful kid, sees the ice. Um, his, his skill level is, is high. Uh, his, his brain and his hockey sense are even at a higher level. Uh, no, we're really excited about those guys. And um, they both, as, mu as good as they were last year, Willie's taken an enormous step. And, um, and Brandon has taken another good progressive step. Brandon was very good last year. And obviously, you know, his, uh, they're, both these guys, their work in the, uh, in the, in, in the weight room uh, in the offseason has is, is really helped them. Obviously, the experience they gained last year, but the weight that they've uh, put on, the, uh, uh, the work that they've done in the weight room has is, is helped uh, take their game to, to another level. There's no question about that. And that's another thing. You know, you talk about these kids and uh, the adversity that they've had to face. Like, the, our guys have had to lift weights. They've had to do their off-season conditioning pretty much on their own. Now, Coach Baudet was available online, and uh, he had meetings with them and that type of thing. But when they were home all spring, they weren't here under his thumb. Uh, going down to the weight room and, and being directly under his, his uh, supervision. They were out doing it on their own. And uh, it, it takes a lot of self-discipline and, and, and uh, commitment and self-discipline to be able to do that. And uh, our guys have done it. And you can't hide it. When you see a guy like, uh, you know, Willie Ryan, what he's come back with, you know that he hasn't been taking days off. Uh, uh, Brandon Cook, another one is Blake Bride. I mean, actually, you go through Pachapinski, all of them. You know, uh, we've got a very committed group. And uh, it starts with our seniors. Uh, we've got uh, we've got eight seniors, six skaters, and and uh, and two goalies. And it starts with them. They're all very committed to the process. Uh, they wanna they wanna lead a great team. And uh, uh, this group has the chance to be a great team in terms of uh, a collective group. They have an opportunity to, to, to be that. Obviously, it's going to take time. Um, well, uh, we're still very young. We've got uh, eight seniors, but only six of them are skaters. The other two are goalies. Uh, we only have one junior, and that's our starting goal in Schilling. So... We do have a very uh, young team. Uh, we like our freshmen. We like where our sophomores are at coming back. And um, like again, a typical Air Force Falcon team. We, uh, I think, you, you, you're not going to see. Uh, our potential. You're not gonna, until we get to February, uh, late February, March. You know, hopefully, I think you're going to see this team being playing its best hockey in the in the second half of the season, and and hopefully peaking in late February and early March like we do. And uh, I can tell you right now, I don't know where we're going to start. We're going to go out to AIC. We're going to play the number one ranked team. And and uh, the biggest thing with that series to me, I talked to the boys yesterday. Is is the last time we were out there? It was the most humbling and humiliating losses that we've ever that I've ever had here with uh, in Atlantic hockey. We've had some stinkers in Atlantic hockey. We've had some stinker games, but we've never had back-to-back -back stinker games. We've always bounced back after a bad after a bad outing. And uh, when we went out to AIC a couple years ago, that's what we expected. We got stapled on Friday, and we expected to come back strong and like we always do on Saturday. Well, we came on Saturday, and they gave it to us just as bad as they gave it to us on Friday. We didn't score a goal the entire weekend. It was humiliating. Uh, it was humbling. Uh, last year when AIC came here, I reminded the guys about that. We went out on Friday. We punched them in the mouth and beat them on Friday night. On Saturday they came out and beat us, and it was a good series. It was a good split. Uh, but uh, our last, vi our visit, our only visit to the Mass Mutual Center was not a great experience. And uh, what we're looking for our group right now is to go into the Mass Mutual Center and 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 make and and put in a very spirited effort. And uh, if we do that, I like our chances of coming away with wins. But the biggest part is to go back in there and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and reestablish our, our manhood, especially uh, on that ice, because we didn't do that two years ago when we went there. After everything that happened, how much of, it, how much of a relief is it to be able to even talk in those terms right now? 
Oh, it's fantastic. And again, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic, Kate. Until until uh, that puck drops. I mean, I, uh, I I'm going to be nervous getting on the plane tomorrow. I'm going to be nervous when we land. I'm going to be nervous when we test on Friday. And uh, until that puck drops on Friday, I'm not I'm not going to be 100 percent sure that 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 we're playing a hockey game. You just can't. It's uncertain times. You know, things have you know in different regions. I think Northern Michigan's got problems now. Northeastern, of course, Colorado College has been down for almost a couple of weeks now. Whatever it is, and um, you just don't know where this virus, where it's going to rear its ugly head. You know, hopefully it stays with us, away from us. Uh, hopefully we we continue to stay negative and uh and uh and aic as well that's the other thing well you know you don't we don't control everything we can control do our best we can to control us but we don't control aic and uh you know something happens where they where they pop positive with a guy or two and uh that's all she wrote for that series so i think it's all these games all year it's going to go right up to game time until that puck drops i don't think you anybody's going to know for sure uh if these games are if if, if these games are going to be played uh, this is a bit of an, uh, an unprecedented task for your captains uh, as kind of the mouthpiece for the players. Is their job as important as ever? And how, what kind of job are they doing so far? Well, I, again, I, like I, I don't make things up. Uh, our Right now, um, the vibe in our locker room is, is fantastic. The attitude, I mean, we haven't had a bad practice. And uh, you know what? It, I think it started last year. You know, that was the thing with our team. We started out 0-7 last year, and then we ended up by winning five of our last six games to end the season. We were playing our best hockey at the end. Um, but our, our, our leadership last year kept things positive every day. In practice, uh, we, our coaches did a fantastic job, but you have to have willing uh, pupils as well. And and uh, I talked all last year, even when we were 0-7, how much I liked that team and how much potential that I, I saw in them. And I see the same thing in, in this group. Um, we're a little bit younger uh, to start out with, uh, but uh, the captains have done a fantastic job. When you when you're getting that type of Ad, when you got that type of effort and attitude and practice every day, like it starts with your with your seniors. It starts, and uh, our seniors have not let us down. To a man, uh, they've been they've been great, uh, uh, leading by example. They've been great in the room when they've had to talk to the guys. Um, of course, we've got those eight seniors, and then we got Schilling, so we've only got nine upperclassmen. Uh, but uh, you know, they're controlling everything that they can control right now, and uh, I, I like where we're at. Um, now we are far, far from uh, where we want to be. Uh, we are going to be a work in progress. And uh, how good of a team are we going to be early? I don't know. And it, when you're talking in regards to wins and losses, I, I don't know. But I can tell you one thing with this group, if they maintain uh, where they're at uh, throughout the season in regards to what they bring every day, their attitude, their effort, those types of things, we will be the team once again in Atlantic hockey that nobody wants to see at playoff time.